first of all, I just wanted to say how awesome it was that we've got people from all around the world to come right here in Ireland to celebrate the marriage of Katie and Sean. If you guys are starting your journey as husband and wife here, I can't wait to see what you guys will accomplish through your lives together. It's also cool how you became an O'Neill in Ireland, of all places. Katie's a beautiful girl. I met Katie uh, Easter more than a year ago. Not last Easter, the Easter before. And uh, we, we had some fun. <laughs> Katie's fantastic. She's um, got a very level head, very clever, very intelligent, very smart. Those three things are not always the same. She's got them all. Just wrap it like... Now, for those of you who don't know, I rarely call him Sean. I almost always call him England. <laughs> that nickname started when he first came to Burlington Middle School around 7th or 8th grade. He had a heavy English accent at the time, and when we found out where he was from, everyone in our class started calling him England. Ever since, it's been nothing but good times. Whether it was hanging out on my back porch, talking about life, and drinking a few beers, or trying to do a 360 dunk on an eight-foot basketball net. <laughs> he's a good kid. He's bright, and he's got a good future with Katie. He chose well, or she chose well. I'm not sure which, but they're good together. Katie, you know, as long as I've known her, she's just always been somebody to look up to. She's always set the uh, bar high. She's kind, caring, always there when you need her, just always willing to help. You know, I, I, we could be on this all day, you know, she, she's just such a wonderful person. As a young boy, he was lovely and always good fun, up to mischief. <laughs> now, when I first heard about Katie, Sean was getting ready to leave for Texas with his sister and started telling me about this girl he met one night out in Atlantic City. I didn't think much of it at the time because he was leaving so soon, but after Sean had moved, it seemed like every week he would be back in Brigantine, and it wasn't hanging out with me, it was to see Katie. <laughs> After I got to see Sean and Katie together and witness how much they generally care for each other, I knew she was perfect for him. She's smart, gets his sarcasm, and most importantly, likes to watch sports as much as he does. A separate gift for you. So I started it on the day we got engaged. And then there's something every day. Every what? Until today. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. I love you. I love you. It was a, just a wonderful trip, and I enjoyed it so much. It was kind of an emotional thing for me to have my have our first daughter get married. Your guys' relationship is actually really inspiring. It was devotion that brought you guys back together after your time apart, being in New Jersey and Texas. It was your dedication that led you guys together now with your new chapter in life in Texas. And it was your love that brought every single one of your family and friends right here celebrating your marriage. Love one another with great affection and always have a profound respect for each other. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. 
Do not give up if difficulties come and keep praying. Have faith in God and in your love. They're a great couple. They'll work well together. It's looking bright for their future. Uh, keep having fun. Keep stretching those boundaries. And uh, always remember to look after each other. Who was the first one of you to have a crush on the other? <laughs> <laughs> Who has the better shower singing voice? <laughs> Out of the two of you, who was the first to fall in love? <laughs> and last but not least, who do you love more than anyone in the world? Hey! <laughs> I thought you were going to take her. <laughs> and there you have it, that's the shoe game. We think of two people traveling on different paths who meet and decide to travel together from that point on. We're not talking about two strangers who meet when out for a walk, but then go on their separate ways. We're talking about man and woman on the great path of life. Be perceptive to the needs of each other Seek to be compassionate and kind, humble and patient. The Lord forgives you, so you must do the same. And over all these things, be loving. And since we are merging Irish and Slovak families, I'm going to turn to a classic Irish wedding blessing. Lord, Please rain down on Sean and Katie this blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May you see your children's children. May you be rich in blessings. And may you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. All the years that I've known her, she's really never been content to sit still. Uh, she's always doing something, always has a plan uh, from summer breaks or school breaks in Malaysia, Australia, China, the list goes on and on. You really just never know what you're going to get when you ask her what her plans are. So when I learned that Sean is English, but also Irish and also from New Jersey, I was like, okay, we're good. We have like a little bit of an international flair. <laughs> Keep her interested. That was good. But then I also learned that uh, he had planned for her a trip from New Jersey to a Florida Georgia Line concert in Alabama via a road trip. And I knew that they were perfect at that point because Katie is also known for her epic road trip. So when I learned that he had planned all that for her, just so that she could go to that concert and check that last date off of the list. I knew you were gonna be just fine. A lot of folks who have influenced Katie um, in her, throughout her life are here, Uncle Paul and Uncle Bob, and Aunt Kathy, who just is recovering from surgery, thank you, Aunt Kathy, for the courage to come here. Um, and. Um, Uncle Paul, thank you for having the courage to come here. Um, given that Uncle Bob is here. <laughs> yeah. It's awfully nice of a lot of her friends and our neighbors, the Schaefers, are here. It's just a good thing to have all you folks here. Um, and my, my siblings are here except uh, Uncle Tom and, and Carol and uh, Uncle John um, and Don. Thank you so much for coming. And Aunt Janet, uh, where, I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is.
now from our Czechoslovakian ancestors a traditional wedding blessing. Sean and Katie, the bride and groom, may God bless you, and from God comes all good. Amen. Don't walk ahead of me, I may not follow. Don't walk behind me, I may not lead. Just walk beside me and be my friend. Sean, you make Katie so happy. I mean, just look at her. She's glowing. <laughs> her happiness brings us happiness. You make her smile and laugh in ways that we never, ever could. Thank you so much, Sean, for everything you do and for helping unite the Lenz and O'Neill families. And I'm so happy that I get to call you my brother-in-law. I love you guys so much. Anyways. So, everyone, please join me and raise your glasses for a toast <laughs> to the wonderful, amazing, most beautiful newlyweds Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill. We pray especially that God will help Catherine and Sean to make their journey of life together, that God will always bless them and guide them in their journey, and that all of us invited to this special day will support them and will always be a support to them not just today, but in the years that lie ahead for them. Hi. 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 Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your lives? We will. Sean, do you take Catherine to be your wife? Do you promise to be true to her in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love her and honor her all the days of your life? I do. Catherine, do you take Sean to be your husband? Do you promise to be true to him in good times and bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and honor him all the days of your life. I do. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. We pray for Catherine and Sean, who have given themselves to each other. May they know peace love and happiness together. May they enjoy good health and grow old together. And may God grant them his protection all the days of their lives. We pray for the parents, family, friends, and relations of Catherine and Sean. May they always be a source of strength and encouragement to them in the years ahead. And may Catherine and Sean always find friendship and love in their company. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Just by looking at them, you know that they're, they're so much in love. So both of them are gonna have a happy, happy life together. Catherine, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love in the name of the Father, the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit. Sean, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Are you because the pride? <laughs> Hello. Chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Bailey's in hot chocolate. That's pretty bomb. Where are you going to sit there? You're going to pick me up now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to pull the nail out on number four. You're blocking my light. Do we that nose thing? Nose thing, yes. How we're doing like boy band like <laughs> CD covers. There you go. Everyone do what Sean's doing. <laughs> We're not good at that. <laughs> After I got the, um, never mind. <laughs> Ever since. <laughs> no, that's that's right. Right. Throw your jacket Come on, walk the way, throw your jacket Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, ready? One, two, three. Pop it, guys. Pop it. Walk, one, two, pop. Yeah, pop. Perfect. <laughs> and we've got bikers. Hold on. Oh. Um, you either go that way or come through. <laughs> But not close. Relax your knees, they can do a little. What am I doing with my hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not on the dress, not on the dress! Don't run over the dress. <laughs> I'm sorry, beautiful. Oh, you're good. Try, try it again, guys. Okay. Shady. Shady. Yeah, that's our new celebrity couple name. Yeah, you're weird. Just keep them close. <laughs> <laughs> 